All right. So we're, now we're going to do the 8Q gravity flip. Bob is bored during his physics lesson, so he's built him. Excuse me, excuse me. Before I get into that, it's this is by Logical X, and 91% of the users liked it. Uh, Bob is bored during his physics lesson, so he's built himself a toy box to help pass the time. The box is special because it has the ability to change gravity. There are some columns of toy cubes in the box arranged in a line. The ith column contains a i cubes. At first, the gravity in the box is pulling the cubes downward. When Bob switches the gravity, it begins to pull all the cubes to a certain side of the box, d, which can either be which can be either l or r, left or right. Below is the example. It was an example of what a box of cubes might look like before and after switching gravity. You can see this. It's not really relevant, honestly. Uh, given the initial configura configuration of the cubes in the box, find out how many cubes are in each of the in columns after Bob switches the gravity. So here's the examples. Random numbers. It goes in ascending order when it comes out. Random numbers descending order when it comes out. So basically, we're doing a, we're using a sort uh, the sort method which is uh, array.prototype.sort. The sort method of the, the sort method sorts the elements of an array in place and returns the sorted array. The default sort order is ascending built upon converting the elements into strings then comparing their sequences to UTF-16 code unit values. The time and space complexity of the sort cannot be guaranteed as it depends on the implementation. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it means that it's not all powerful sort. Oh, well, obviously it's not. Because look, here, I mean, this is, it displays it perfectly here. Uh, here's, here's some months, but they're in, when they get sorted, they go in alphabetical order, D, F, J, M. Uh, here's a sort. When they sort it, it goes in, uh, by the code unit, so one is before two, so one, no matter what, is going to be before two, kind of like A is always before B, kind of thing. So there's also these syntaxes, and uh, we're going to use uh, we're going to be using this arrow function. The rest of them I don't really know about. We'll go into them later if they ever come up. Um, so we're going to do this sort A B and then make a function out of it. It's very straightforward. All right, so here we go. We're going to go like this. Uh, return, and then when D, because of D here, and it can only be either L or R, when D equals R, question mark. When D equals R, we want it to A dot sort. Okay, and uh, uh, we want to do that little function, so we're going to do x, y, because a is already being used, and we're going to say x minus y, and that should put it in, I think it'll put it in uh, ascending order, no, descending order, I don't know, we'll see, I don't, I don't really know, one of the two. Uh, and if not, we're going to say this. But instead of that, we're going to go y minus x. And let's see if it works. Oh, it did work. Cool. So let's see what happens if we were to put l. Ah, there we go. It would have been the opposite way of what it wants. Okay, so let me see. It expected this to be that on R. So when they set, okay, I see, I see. So when they wanted R, they wanted it, they want it to be in ascending order. So when R, this is the ascending order. Okay, so this means ascending order here. All right, so we learned that today. Let's attempt it. Oh, we passed. Good. All right. 
And logical x will be very much like your kata. And, oh, look. No. Oh, they did it an even cooler way. Ah. Uh, they did it an even cooler way. Wouldn't that have been cool? I bet we could have done this and then left off one of these equal signs. Well, whatever. Let's try to remember that for next time. I'll put best practice for that one. And let's see how many people did it our way. 15 more. Let's say best practice for that one too. Cool. All right. And uh, we'll see you next time.